I have a Volkswagen Golf 2018. If my coolant level is low, can I use G12 plus liquid instead of G13? So when it comes to coolant, so a couple things. There's a chart that shows you all the, the interactions and how the different coolants can be mixed together. That shows reverse compatibility on it, which allows you to understand all this stuff. So basically the answer to this question is G13 can be mixed with G12 plus plus, but not G12 plus. Yeah, figure that out, make it super easy for you. Not confusing at all. Uh, that is something that you want to follow by that chart because that's what they have published as far as information. I'm, I don't know the exact specific as to why it has to do with corrosion protection. I'm sure it's some sort of chemical that is in one of them that compromises the other one in some way. Um, that's going to be what you want to do. So if you don't have access to it and you're just topping up, you're better off using uh, water, distilled water, uh, to top it up as opposed to using the wrong coolant. That way you're just diluting it a little bit instead of actually putting the wrong thing in there. That, so that's going to be my advice. Um, whenever you're going through that process, make sure you're using the right one. The biggest thing that really happens, and I think you, the reality is that I suspect that this probably happens all the time and people just don't realize it because they just see pink coolant, they put it in pink coolant and, and then away we go and nothing actually really, really happens. The biggest thing that I've seen, and, and I haven't seen a lot of it, um, you know, I've seen over the years many people who mix the coolants and will put the wrong coolant in there. Though, and the people will bring their car to AutoZone and they put green coolant in there, this general generic phosphorescent green coolant. That is a big no-no, that's real bad. Uh, bad things can happen. The only time I've ever personally seen a really bad result from that was a customer who had brought us a car that had had that for a long time and it mixed enough in the block that it caused the block to get clogged up with like this kind of brown, gritty, kind of almost like a rust-like substance. I don't know if it, I wouldn't say it was rust because I'm not sure that's what it was, but um, it was it was not good. So if you have mixing in your system, really the only thing you do to resolve that is to take it and flush everything out. So what you would want to do and the easiest way to do that is to, you can drain the cooling system completely or what I really recommend is you can take the return line off the coolant bottle and hook it up to another hose that runs out of the car and then you just keep filling the coolant bottle with water with the engine running until it uses the water pump to push all the, circulate all the old coolant out and then you'll know because it's running completely clear out of your, your return hose into that whatever bucket you have or whatever else. So that way you know 100% it's perfect. Then you can then run, start running coolant through their mixed coolant until it turns pink and then now you have a beautifully clean cooling system now. So you might have some residue left over from, from before but that will get your cooling system completely cleaned out uh, to the best of your ability.